Okay, I have something new to share with you today that is going to take advantage of some new packet structures that I've just recently discovered. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through maybe a typical performance. You can dress it up differently. And then after this performance with the cards that you see, we'll use more of an ordered packet and run through the whole thing a second time so that you can better see really what's going on. You know, why does this work? Okay, so here what you do is you ask the spectator to choose any eight memorable pairs. So pairs of cards that they can remember. So at the end, if we happen to reveal these, they'll say, oh yeah, those are the ones that they created. Okay, so I made it pretty obvious here. Now these can be picked up in random order. They truly can, whatever order uh, you would like or the spectator would like. Okay, and then of course, you know, turn them face down. <laughs> okay, and then from here, you just deal out into two piles, a left, right pile with a random stacking decided by the spectator, left on right, okay. Now from here, uh, we're free to uh, Charlier shuffle the cards or have the spectator uh, randomly cut the cards wherever they would like, okay? Now we're going to give them a whole bunch of choices. The first being a Mange shuffle that comes in two varieties, an over, under, or an under, over, okay? And so give them that choice. So what would you like? You want an over under? Okay, so this is how it works. You go over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, repeat it. Okay, very good. And now we're going to just deal out half the cards. Let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, very good. From here, we can actually a Charlier shuffle these cards or have the spectator tell us how to cut them. That's uh, really their choice, okay? So you can Charlier shuffle these if you know how to do that, or just you can randomly cut them. That's just fine. Okay, very good. Now we're going to give the spectator uh, the choice again to do a mange over under or under over. So maybe they'll choose uh, an over under for this one. Okay, and that's just fine. Okay, very good. And maybe they'll choose an under over for this one. Under over under over and so forth. Okay. Very good. Now at this point, what we're going to do is just kind of repeat the same action. Still out half the cards. In fact, we could even push off half if you'd like. We don't actually have to deal. Well, we can actually just push off the top four. You can give the spectator uh, that choice. And then we can uh, Charlie shuffle these or uh, just randomly cut them. One way to go, I think, is to just ask the spectator, uh, how many cards do you want me to cut to the bottom? And maybe they'll say one. Okay, very good. Uh, what about for this one? You want three, cut to the bottom. Okay, your choice. What about here? Don't want any. Okay, that's fine. What about here? Just two, cut to the bottom. Okay, very good. Your choice. And then we'll uh, finish with a mange over, under, or under, over. Your choice. What would you like for this one? Over, under. Okay. And what about this one? Over, under as well. Okay, very good. But this one, under, over. Now you have to realize that this is mixing the cards in different ways. Try it for yourself. What would, what would you like here? Over, under. Okay. Very, very good. And so to now finish, what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, take each of these and just uh, deal out um, the top two. Uh, we could even just push off the top two if you'd like. That would be fine. Uh, or we can even deal off the top two and then the bottom two. <laughs> or push off the top two and then deal the bottom two. Okay, so any of those would be just fine. Okay, so if you think about all of the mixing that we've done where you've sounded in on very important choices uh, that actually make a difference. I mean, cutting the cards is one of the most dangerous things to do in card magic and in card gambling because it's hard to beat a cut is the same. Okay, well, how did we do? How did we do? Oh, ooh, that's nice. <laughs> we paired up, we paired up the tens. Weren't those two that you wanted paired? Oh, we paired up the kings. What about this one? Oh, a couple of red queens. There's no way we got all of these. Oh boy, we are nailing these. How did you, how in the world did you do that? That is amazing. Can you teach me how to do that? Okay, so that is the effect.
So let me quickly show you kind of really what's going on. And there's some really interesting mathematics going on, by the way. And some of it, to my knowledge, brand new. It's brand new to my research, at least. I've never seen anyone um, do this before, actually. Okay, so here is a more structured representation of what we just did. And you'll be able to better see what's going on. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to pick these up in sequential but reverse order so that we get a nice two cycle that you'll be able to follow and it makes sense of, okay? But in the presentation, we randomly stack these, right? And that's part of the great confusion that we bring to the whole thing uh, by doing that. It really adds to the mystery of the whole thing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just pick them up like this. Okay, so eight first. So eight's going to be technically on top, okay? And that way you'll see what's going on with the next step, okay? So what we did was, you remember we did a left, right? That's how we began, okay? So I just want you to see the structure of the packet here. So we can randomly stack, well, you can see what's going on here. These are just in order, of course. <laughs> and these are in order, right, ace through. Okay, so why don't we, we'll put the clubs on top, okay? So after we did that left, right shuffle, we technically have something called a two cycle with cycle length eight, okay? So that means there's a pattern that repeats twice, nam namely ace through eight, and the length of that repeating pattern is eight, eight cards, okay? So this is where we are. So this is called a two cycle, cycle length eight, okay? Do you remember what we did next? Well, when you have a cyclic packet, you can freely cut it, won't hurt it, or you can surely a shuffle it, okay? Now, technically, it will still be Let's do it one more time here. It will still be uh, cyclic. And I seem to have the best luck on the planet here. Let's cut it differently. <laughs> Golly, I can't believe it. I've tried three times to get a different place in it with my Charlier shuffle, and I always come back to where I was. Okay, so this is still a two cycle cycle length eight because can you see the repeating pattern now? Six, seven, eight, ace, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is still of the same kind that we started with. So doing a Charlier shuffle won't harm this. It's still cyclic, okay? Now from here, we give the choice to do a mange over, under, or under, over, and that's a free choice. Now this is what's new to my channel and my research into mathematical card magic. I would never, you, you look at my channel, I have never mange shuffled a two cycle, ever. Out of the 550 videos that I've had, I've never mange shuffled a two cycle unless I follow it up with a Klondike shuffle. And those two together are the identity, so that's not really doing anything. But to stop here, that's never been done on my channel, okay? Well, what has it created here in this case? Well, what it's done is it's created what I call the concatenation of two, two cycles. Okay, so let me just show you this here. Oh, I need I need the seven there, sorry. Okay, we'll get this figured out here. Okay, so I don't know if you see the two, two cycles hiding here. Okay, so the first two cycle is five, three, a seven. Five, three, a seven, so that's a two cycle. Then it's six, eight, two, four. Six, eight, two, four. That's a second two cycle. They've been put together, concatenated together. Okay, so that's what's happened after a single mon shuffle of an ordinary two cycle. What did I do from there? I just dealt out the top eight cards. Well, I'll just be dealing one of the two cycles down. Three, six, seven, eight, right? Let me just show you. <laughs> that's a two cycle. Mm -mm. That's a two cycle, right? So each one of these are like little baby versions of the bigger one. You have seven ace three five, seven ace three five. And you have a repeating pattern here. But now the cycle length is cut in half. Four cards for one cycle, and then the second cycle, same value but different colors. Okay, same thing here. So a mon shuffle of a two cycle breaks it, and then if you divide that pack it in half, breaks it into two two cycles with half 
the cycle length that it had before. It had eight, now it has four for each of these. Well, since these are two cycles, you can freely Charlier shuffle or randomly cut these. Won't hurt it. Same thing here, okay? Won't hurt that one either, okay? Now, what did I do? I gave you a chance to mange, shuffle each one separately. Free choice. Maybe you'll do an under, over, under, over, okay? Now, the key is to realize that either, that both the under, over, and over, under convert two cycles to this concatenation of two cycles, depending on the starting structure, okay? So maybe I'll do over, under, over, under, over, under, over. Okay, so this will now be a pair of two cycles. So if I deal out half of the cards, which is four out of eight, same thing here, this is a pair of two cycles, right? Okay, so what that will mean then, let me just show you here, each one of these are little baby two cycles, okay? So they have a repeating pattern every two cards, ace, five, ace, five, three, seven, three, seven, and so forth. Okay, so these are all little two cycles with cycle length two, which is half of four from the previous step, right? Okay, so the Monge shuffle, it will increase the number of two cycles by two, but cut the cycle length in half, okay? And that makes sense because otherwise you're gonna have more cards after doing one of these. That would be true magic, right? To suddenly have more cards on the table than before, right? Okay, and then what did we do from there? Well, these are, uh, this is where I allowed you to cut any number of cards to the bottom. These are all cyclic, two, two cycles, so it doesn't actually matter. Maybe you'll cut just one, maybe you'll cut three, okay? So these are still, let me just show you just one of them here. It's still a two cycle, four, eight, four, eight, okay? Now, from here, we gave you a chance to do a final mange shuffle for each of these. So you can do over, under, over. Now think about what would this do to what we just had? We had a, a two cycle with cycle length two. <laughs> That's like the shortest you can go, okay? What will that do? If it's gonna cut the cycle length in half and the cycle length was two, two divided by two is one, okay? So what it's gonna give you is something called an AMP, okay? So it's going to, I mean, technically these are, this is a <laughs> concatenation of two cycles where the cycle length is one, okay? And so <laughs> that's one way to look at it. On my channel, I would look at these as, quote, AMPs. Uh, they're called adjacent mirrored pairs because they're pairs of related cards that we started with, okay? And so this is the structure right before I dealt out the final pairs, and you can see it's gonna work, right? So like this one, I could go one, two, drop the rest. Okay, fine. Uh, here I could just push off the top two because they're already the same card value and color. This one I could deal, 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 won't hurt anything. Here I could push off and then deal. It won't change anything, okay? And then you will have nailed it and you're going to look like an absolute math wizard. You really, really will. Okay, so I'm hoping that explanation um, kind of clarified what's going on. And th this is a principle that is really helpful in mathematical card magic, is if you're trying to understand something, go with a really simple transparent packet structure and follow that through whatever procedure you're, you're inflicting on it, okay? Uh, because it will increase your chances tremendously that you'll be able to see, oh, okay, I see what's going on, instead of just using like random cards. So thank you for watching, and I encourage you to take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.